Amen. 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 We give God glory today. Amen. Amen. Thank Him so much for uh, another opportunity to be in the house. Yes. Amen. I bless God for each of you. Amen. Thank you for pressing your way and coming on out and, uh, as we say, making it do what it do. Amen. Uh, thank you for the the the, the use. Uh, of your gifts and your talents, amen, and uh, being able to, uh, at the spur of a moment, uh, share, amen, so we, we bless God for you, amen, um, before, I, before I launch in today, amen, I'm just going to ask my wife to come up here and join me real quick, amen, uh, come on, Lady J, amen, amen, and, uh, amen, I just want you to share. Amen. Just share. Just share. Amen. Just share. Amen. Just share. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. 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 I uh, thank you also for allowing uh, me Amen. <laughs> to share for a few minutes. But what what has been uh, placed on my heart to talk about is relationship and to have a relationship with God, and it is important. Actually, it's a detriment to your life that you have a relationship with God, have a true, or as you say, for real, for real relationship with God, um, this is, this is my Bible, and in here, my life, I can talk, my life is in here, it describes my life, it helps me throughout my life. When something is wrong, I can go to the Word. When I need something, I can go to the Word. Yes. But it's because I have a relationship with God that I can do that. Yes, we have a choice, but it's because of God I am who I am today. It's because of God that I can do what I can do today. And when I say to have a true relationship with God, I mean, you need to, God needs to be included in everything that you do. Amen. Everything. When I go to the grocery store, if I'm contemplating, should I get this or that? Sometimes I have to take it to God. It's just that. Yes, it's something as simple as that. Yes. Because you never know. It's something as simple as that. Amen. Even when I go out and I, I go to the retail stores, I have a conversation, well, do I really want this? Do I need it? Should I get it? Because when you spend, from what I see, when you spend, I spend out of the household money. Amen. So I have to talk with God and make sure it's okay that I get it. Amen. Yes, it's things, it's stuff, but because I, I, I can do because of God. He's allowed me to get things and be able to live and enjoy life because of him. I thank God that he's in my life. And I want to uh, just tell you about our marriage. Last week, Apostle told you that uh, we've had 35 years of marriage. And I thank God for those 35 years. But during, during the first few years, it was difficult. God was there, then he wasn't. Because we chose, okay, let me put it, I chose to kind of, put God aside but when I when I involve God when we allow God to be in our marriage there's no heading back to where we were yesterday I'm telling you God is in control of this thing with God we were able to nurture our marriage we were able to build it to you know trust each other to love each other to really like each other, you know, to want to spend time with each other, but it was with God I, we were able to do that. Imagine if you had a relationship with God for real, for real. Because God was so good to me in my marriage, who doesn't want to serve a God like that? I just thank God that he, he allowed me to go through that, but yet he allowed me to build our marriage back up. So who doesn't want to serve a God like that? 
I love God and I would encourage everybody to have a for real relationship with God. Yeah. Don't put him on the back burner. Don't don't get your don't dig yourself a hole and then say, God help me, help me. No. Before you go do something that you shouldn't, take it to God. Amen. It, and I I can't stress it enough. In every, every aspect of yes. your life, Amen. include God. It is important. School, your grades, you got a test coming up. Talk to God before you go take that test. In school, you're having difficulty, you're being bullied. Of course, by all means, talk to us. Let us know. But talk to God about it. You have to have a relationship. You want a relationship to work with a man and a woman? Take it to God. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. I can't tell you enough and I can't stress it enough. Have a for real, for real, for real relationship with God. You'll, you'll be surprised. And I guarantee your life will be be a lot better. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 For real, for real. Hallelujah. For real, for real. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Y'all heard my wife. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Good to be in the house once again. Amen. Amen. So I'm honored uh, to be before you. Hallelujah. Uh, our God is faithful. Amen. And because of his faithfulness. Amen. I'm, I too am determined to be faithful. Anybody else? Amen. 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 This is one of the things that you know is this this is supposed to be reciprocated. Amen. Amen. Um, so we bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. The word is before us. If you would go with me to 1 John chapter 5. Once again, 1 John chapter 5. And again, thank you even to our Facebook Live family. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, she she just began to talk about, you know, um, in a nutshell about how 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 good God is. And um, you know, how, the things that he's done, how he's kept us, amen, how he's been faithful amen. towards us. And so I'm, I'm, you know, that this is that's one of those things that's that's hard to teach. Amen. You know, either either you want to be faithful or you don't. You know, either 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 you want to learn or you don't. You know, it's just it's just it's just one of those things. Amen. And so I bless God for the learning and that we are better today. Amen. Because Amen. of. Um, wanting to learn, <coughs> wanting to be better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody there? First John chapter five. Amen. Mm -hmm. First John chapter five. Beginning at verse one, it says this: Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves Him, who begot, also loves Him who is begotten of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he? Who overcomes the world. But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Amen. And so I read to us again. First John uh, chapter 5 verses 1 through 5. 
First John chapter five, verses one through five. And I read to us from the new King James version. And so, uh, as I began to, uh, uh, again, ask God, seek God, and say, what is it? What, where are we supposed to be going? What is it that we're supposed to be doing? Um, I, 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 I recall talking to us on last week, amen, about circuit training and how we have a tendency to do a lot of uh, work, a lot of uh, things. As a matter of fact, I, I go so far as to say some, some ministries that you go to, Amen. They always got something on the program. It's all, always something, something, something. Always busy, 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 busy. Amen. Um, and so, but that's not so for us. But the thing that 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 uh, that I'm trying to tell us is that we do a lot of stuff, but it don't necessarily mean that it started with God. Amen. And so as I was talking about the circuit training, I was just telling us that we have to always start with God. And so um, if, you, if, you, if you did, if you didn't hear that message, you, you, you definitely uh, I, I highly recommend. And, you know, as they used to say in, in, in military school, that you go back and read that one or write that down. Amen. You might want to remember that. Amen. Amen. And so uh, but again. God is calling us, amen, to start with him. He was saying, this is my food. This, my meat, my, my food is to do the will of him who sent me. Amen. amen. That's, that's what we're here to do. We're here to do the will of him that sent us mm -hmm. and to finish his work. Yes. Amen. But the crazy thing is oftentimes we have our own plans, what we want to do. And, 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 and more times than not, we even govern those things, what we want to do around our personality. Amen. And so in essence, it really doesn't matter what God is saying. This is just who I am. This is just what I want to do. This is just what I don't want to do. And so it really don't matter what God is saying. But yet we quit to say what God is saying. But it, it, it's like it don't apply to our life. You know, I, and I'm telling you, it is crazy to me to, 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 to know that God is speaking. But we walk around, uh, you know, like like we got a rain jacket on, like like it don't it don't penetrate us, it don't it don't mean nothing for us, mm. amen. And so when he's speaking, it's meant to rain on everybody else. Mm. Well, I get to say it and rain on everybody else, but it don't never get me wet. Mm. It's something wrong with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is something wrong with that, amen. Because again, if the word don't, if we if we're not eating up the same word, then that, 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 there's a problem. Amen. And we're not partaking of the same word. And so what, what do I mean by that? Even as preachers or uh, lay members, amen, sometimes we can be around people and we will we'll quote a scripture or we'll say something or whatever, but we don't live it. Amen. Mm. We are like it don't work for our life. Mm. Amen. We are like it don't work. Or we are like only parts of the Bible work. <laughs> Anyway, back to the word. That, that ain't where I'm going today. Amen. But I'm just trying to tell us about circuit training. If we're all beginning with God, then all of us should be falling up under the bubble of God. We, we, we should all be in this bubble. Amen. Because we're all starting at the same place. Amen. And so what but he, he may be taking you north and may be taking me south. Amen. That, that may very well be true. But the standards ain't changed. Amen. The same requirement of me is, is, is required of you. And what do I mean by that? I'm not saying that, you know, the grace on everybody's life is, is different. But the requirement still is to start with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that don't change for any of us. Amen? Amen. All right. You know, again, it says to whom much is given, much is required. Amen. All right? And so you can watch some people and it seems like, must not be much given. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Amen. Oh God. Amen. I'm a, back to the word. Y'all still with me? First John chapter 5. Amen. 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 You understand. You caught that. Yeah. Glory be to God. Amen. And so whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ. <clears throat> is born of God and everyone who believes him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him and so again as I begin to read this text 
and study over it, I was trying to come up with a, 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 a term or a subject area, amen, to help us. And so the thing that I'm just going to tell us today is, I'm just saying. That's the title. I'm just saying. Amen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. I'm just saying. Amen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But it's in the word. Whoever believes uh -huh. that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. Whoever believes. And so one of the things that, that, that you are here is people are, are saying, well, I believe in God. But I don't believe the Bible. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ. And so they say, well. I do believe there's a God, but I ain't, in, I, I, I ain't into all that Christ stuff, that Jesus stuff. I believe there's a God. I believe there's a, 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 a great, a grand architect of the universe. I believe, matter of fact, I believe it's a woman. You know, and so we have all these other sayings and, and whatever, but I'm asking, well, where did you get that from? Well, you read it somewhere, or you heard it somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, and, and so you say, "Well, uh, well, the, the, the guy on YouTube said, mm. the guy on TikTok said, mm. well, they was, I don't know what they was reading from, but they was reading from something, mm. or oh, I read that while I was in prison. I, you know, they got these books in prison. I read that when I was in prison, and I just don't believe that no more. Mm. You know, and so my thing is, it's still a book." <laughs> Somebody still wrote it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody still said it. Amen. But when it comes to the faith, when it comes to the Bible, everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. they want to kick and fight. And I just don't believe it. Mm -hmm. But whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, mm -hmm. amen, the Christ, the Christ, whoever believes that Jesus is the Savior. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Man, I'm just saying. Whoever believes, amen. And when you say believe, that means I got confidence in this thing. Amen. Amen. I, 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 listen, you can say a whole lot, but I just believe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Raise your hand if you drove here today. Amen. Amen. When you got in your car, did you believe it was going to bring, it was going to take you to your destination? Amen. 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 You, you wasn't riding on a hope and a prayer. Amen. Amen. But you believe then you're here. Mm -hmm. And so what, what happened is, is that you had confidence in whatever you was driving. Amen. Amen. To get you here. You had confidence that, that hey, that, that the tires are going to stay on, that you had enough gas, that you, you, you had confidence in that. Mm -hmm. And so whoever believed, whoever got some confidence yes. that Jesus is... The Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who, 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 whoever believes this now. Mm -hmm. Whoever. Whoever. Amen. It's a, it's a, listen. Whoever. It, ain't got, it, it didn't say. If you white and believe. Mm -hmm. If you black and believe. Mm -hmm. If you brown and believe. But whoever. He didn't say what country you had to be from. But whoever believes. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Savior. Is born of God. Amen. So. You got to have some confidence in this thing. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Amen. You got to have some confidence. And so. you, So now you believe that he is. Uh, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And that he. Uh, uh, it, it says that. Wh whoever believes this. That they are the son of God. Amen. And so. Again. If we have confidence that he is the Christ, that he is the Savior, and as he said, that he is the way, <laughs> so any other way means that I, I can't be his. Amen. Why? Because it means that I'm not born of God. Mm -hmm. Because I have to believe that Jesus is yes. Yes. the Christ, that Jesus is yes. the Savior. If I don't, then that means I am not born of God. Amen. Everybody understand me? Amen. Again, 
Some say, well, I, I, I believe this, but I don't believe that. But I, well, I believe a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I, okay, well, I, I, I take this part of the Bible, but I don't, well, we New Testament, so that Old Testament stuff, I just don't really, or we Old Testament, we don't really get into that New Testament stuff because, again, that's that Jesus stuff. But Jesus is all throughout the Bible. Amen. Come on. It may not say his name, Jesus, Amen. but he's also the Messiah. <laughs> yes. Amen. The, anyway, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And so we have to believe this. Now listen to what he says. And everyone who loves him. Amen. Everybody love him today. Amen. 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 And so again. You got to first believe. And when you stop believing. You'll start. Loving. Amen. But see, he, he didn't do it like that. He started loving us first. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. But he loved us in a way that we came to believe. Amen. Amen. And now that we believe, we've fallen in love. love. Amen. Amen. Falling in love with Jesus. Amen. But now, Amen. now listen, whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Amen. And everyone who loves him. Amen. I love him. I love him. I love him now. Amen. And everyone who loves him, who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. Once again, and everyone who loves him, raise your hand if you love him. Amen. Amen. You say you say you love him. You say you love him. Listen to this. And everyone who loves him, who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. And so once again, and everyone who loves him, who begot Okay, and so listen, the him is capital. Amen. And he was God. begotten. Mm -hmm. So who, who was he begotten of? God. God. Why? That's why he is the son of God. Amen. Because he was begotten of God. Mm -hmm. And so it says, and everyone who loves him who begot. Amen. And, and so the one that begot mm -hmm. is God, right? God. Amen. Jesus is the begotten, right? Yes. Amen. And so whoever loves God also loves him who is begotten of him. Yes. Amen. And so and so to say that I love God, uh -huh. but I'm not into this Jesus thing, mm -hmm. means you're not born of God. Amen. Amen. Once again, because if you love God, uh -huh. then you also got to love his son. begotten. So Amen. you also got to love his son. Amen. And if you love his son, mm -hmm. okay. I'm just saying. This is where even us as Christians mm -hmm. get messed up. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm, 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 listen, 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 listen. I was talking with a wise man a few weeks ago. And I was just sharing with him that I was like, man, there, there, there are some people that claim Christianity. Um, I just don't care to be around. Amen. There are some people that claim Christianity mm -hmm. that just gets on my last nerve. Mm -hmm. There are some people that claim Christianity, mm -hmm. amen, that don't seem like they even got a, a respect for each other. You, you know, um, and the thing that he began to tell me, and, and, and so, because what I was telling him is like, I just don't, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be linked up with, I don't want to be uh, hanging out with and doing, and the thing that he told me was really profound, as, although it may sound simple, he said, could it be that they from a different tribe? Mm, come on. It don't mean that they're not in the faith. They're just not part of your tribe. You know, when you whatever tribe you in, you you have some unity in your tribe. You have some of the same thoughts. You guys are going the same direction. You got some of the same, but it don't mean that they ain't saved. And so that thing convicted me. I got to do better. Why do I have to do better? Listen to this. <laughs> and everyone who loves him, who begot, also love him who is begotten 
of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we say, well, for those of us that may be in this room, we say, well, I do believe the Bible. That's why I'm here today. If they online, they may say, hey, I do believe the Bible. That's why I'm listening to you now. Amen. Why, why, because I, uh, I love him who begot and I also love the begotten mm -hmm. of him. Amen. But can I tell you, if you are born again believer, mm -hmm. you too are begotten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we have a problem with loving him. Jesus. We have a problem with loving each other, but we, we forget that you too are the begotten. And if I don't love you like I'm supposed to love you, I'm just lying. Jesus, Jesus. Then I'm not born of God. Amen. If you're not part of my denomination, if you're not part of my fraternity, if you're not part of my this, part of that, that well, I, I love you, but I don't ever want to be around you. Well, your love ain't real. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Amen. So I, I listen, I'm convicted to do better. <laughs> Amen. And just understand that, hey, it's just a different tribe. It's a different tribe, different tribe. But hey, they are still begotten. And if they ain't begotten, I let him figure it out. Amen. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And so listen, it says, and everyone who believes and who loves him, who begot, also love him who is begotten of him. And I'm here to tell us that, again, if we've been born again, if we have been saved, if we've been adopted into his family, we too are begotten. That word begotten, amen, it has, it has several different meanings, but the bottom line is, is, uh, 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 is, to, uh, what's the word? What's the word I want to use? It's to have offspring. I say it like that. It's to have offspring. And so if, we, if, if we're offspring of God, that means we are children of God. And if we're children of God, that means we are born of God. Amen. Amen. But if I can't love you. If I find it so difficult, amen, because I'm offended, because this got on my nerve, because you said that, because they didn't do this, because they, they should have did this, they should have, and we'd be backing up, and we'd be backstroking, and we'd be cordial, but we really still angry, and whatever, I'm telling you, we learn. Jesus, say that one more time. I don't know what I said. <laughs> it's recorded, though. It is recorded. It's recorded. We got to go back and listen to it. Amen. 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 Because I'm telling us, amen, he says, hey, if you're going to love him, you got to love those that are begotten of him. And so you just said, I love him and, and I believe, so I have confidence in him. And so if that's the case, then I need to have confidence in you. Amen. amen. Why? Because it's God that's in you. How can I say I love him and, and, and I despise you? I got a problem with you when you're supposed to have God in you. Amen. So if that's the case, I got a problem with God. I'm just saying. You may not do it like I do it. I may not do it like you do it. We may not clap our hands the same. We may not worship the same. We may not, hey, you may not sing like me. I may can't, I may can't do what you do. I may, I, but I still love you. Amen. Amen. I'm just saying. Amen. I'm just saying. Hallelujah. Thank you. Verse 2. By this we know that we have love. Once again, by this we know that we love the children of God. Yeah. There it is. Once again, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep yeah. his commandments. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So what so 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 so, so what, what is one of them commandments? We just read it. Uh, who is begotten of him, amen. Once again, loves him. Who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. Amen. That's a command. <laughs> amen. That's a command to love, to, to, to love those that are begotten of him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so he's again, by this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. And so again, I believe John is trying to tell us, like, listen, everybody go through some stuff. I ain't never told you 
that serving God was going to be easy. Amen. Amen. But I did tell you it's worth it. Amen. It's worth it. Amen. Amen. But this thing starts with love. I mean, for, at first we got to believe and then we love. Amen. And so, uh, and so what I'm saying is, again, even our belief begins to transition into a faith. Amen. And so, uh, uh, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. And so, one of the things that, that, that you'll find in and around the body of Christ is that a lot of church, a lot of churches put emphasis on it. I want you to take this uh, spiritual gift test. I want you to take the spiritual gift test. Um, not only that, I want you to I want you to do I want you to take the personality test. And so and so that that's kind of how they begin to position people based on those kind of tests. But the the thing I would tell us again, I'm not I'm not here to bash on on the test and all that, but. What I'm telling us is that those are men's algorithms or whatever that's Amen. in the system. Amen. Those are man-made. And so you, with the way you respond to them is going is, is, is to, but it ain't got nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And so what am I trying to say? I'm glad I never was introduced to these things until after I was rooted in the faith. Amen. 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 And so that's when I came to learn of these things. Matter of fact, I was here in Kentucky. So that tell you, I was all, I was in Kentucky when I learned about these things. Amen. Amen. And so, um, but what, what, what I'm trying to get us to understand is this. My personality says I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. And truly, I know I really am. But for those that know me, they would declare I'm an extrovert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and probably, and, and many probably think I'm type A. <laughs> Strong personality. Opinionated. And all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you really know me, if you really know me, you know I prefer to be over here in this corner by myself. Amen. Amen. If you really knew me. Amen. So what am I saying? The personality test does kind of say who I am, right? Because it's built on the way you respond to the questions. But because I've been born again, Jesus. hallelujah, amen, that may be what my personality was. <laughs> That may be what the system says I am. <laughs> but because I've been born again, because the Holy Spirit lives down on the inside of me, amen, I have the ability, amen, to obey God and be whatever he called me to be. Amen. I can't keep saying that's just my personality. When God is calling me to do something different, to change, to, to go out, to minister the word, to declare the word, to be bold. Yes. yes. I can't keep saying, you know, I'm an introvert. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God, I don't want to go. <laughs> if that's the case, if, if, if I'm going to do that, then I must not have been born of God. Amen. I must not have been born again. Amen. Again, and, and so I, 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 I'm just telling you, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I don't know how many of y'all done, done took them the test or whatever case may be, but what, but what I am telling you is that that test does not determine who you are. If Because, again, that may have been the way you were born, but we, we were born again. Yeah. We're born of God. And God has the ability to use us any way he chooses to use us and push us, and we have to be willing to go. Amen. We can't keep saying that's the. I don't like that. That just we. I just it just don't feel right. Cause it, it why? Cause it's getting you out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. It's making you do something that you don't usually do. It's making it's, it's making you come outside of whoever you know. I'm telling you. Listen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Mm. As men, mm. one of the things that I know about men in, in, in growing up is that you be like, hey, you on the basketball court, whatever, hey, good shot, man, good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot, hey, man, hey, way to post up, way to post up, good job, good job. But to, and, and we'll do that, hey, man, growing, growing up, we'll do that, hey, man, but we would never be like, man. You the man. You got you got man. You got some handles. I love the way you jump, man. I tell you what, man. You man. You working on your game, man. I'm telling you, I, man. Listen, I am so impressed with you, man. Every time you get on the court, man. I'm. It's like I'm. I'm. I'm fearful, man. I'm. It, it, you know. In other words, we ain't gonna get with a man will not give another man his flowers. Amen. Mm. Amen. It, we we wouldn't do it, but I'm telling you, I'm at a place in my life, amen. Well, I'm gonna give you your flowers now. Amen. I'm going to tell you now. Why? Because I love you now. Amen. And because God has changed my life, I don't care, amen, how people may feel or whatever. Or because I told you I love you and, and man, you're doing a wonderful job and whatever, blah, 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 whatever conversation we're having, amen, how you, you know, because you, you may think I'm kind of, as uh, Fred Sample would say, you... <laughs> You may think I'm kind of cause, cause I'm loving on, but I'm just giving you flowers now. Amen. I'm giving you flowers Amen. now. Listen, why am I why am I saying this? What? Listen what it says. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Amen. amen? And so if 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 I'm going if I say I love you, mm -hmm. Amen. Then I need to love you. Amen. Amen. If, if then I need to encourage you. I need to exalt you. I need to esteem you higher than myself. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Excuse me. I'm just saying. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, that we do what God tells us to do, that, that we love the way we're supposed to, that we're supposed to love. And look what he said. And his commandments are not burdensome. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. His commandments are not burdensome. And so what happens is, again, sometimes we be like, well, I know God telling me to do this, or I feel like God is telling me to do that, but man, that's heavy. That's heavy. I, they might look at me crazy. I know God told me to go up there and, and, and lay on that altar and just pray and cry. Amen. I know God told me to give my life. Amen. I know it's time. I know he calling me, but that ain't cool right now. That, 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 that ain't what I want right now. That's, that's a little too heavy. That's a little too heavy. Uh, well, I know God is calling me to, 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 to operate in this area or to do this or do that. But, man, I don't want to give up my time. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I really want. And, mm -hmm. and it's become a burden to you. The commandments of God. Mm -hmm. Doing what God told you has become a burden. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't want to pray. Oh, I don't want to teach. Oh, I don't want to do. Oh, oh, oh! It, it's just the, the the weight of 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 following God and doing what God told you has just become burdensome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you really a child of God? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. And now, in a ministry like this, I find it difficult because because again, I told us some places you go, man, people are always busy, always doing something, some, 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 some. And so, and, and because they're so busy, 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 and, you know, I told us before, one, one of the things that I think is a sad occasion when people feel like they got to take a vacation from the church, <laughs> to me, there's something wrong with that, 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 you, some, something's wrong, something's wrong, if, if, if you, again, if, if that's the kind of vacation you have to take away from the ministry, something wrong, now, if you're going on, if you're going on vacation, good. But some people, I, I know, they go on vacation to get away from their church. Mm -hmm. Amen? But I just know, I know for us, we ain't got, we, we, the biggest demand on anybody is probably uh, hospitality. It's probably the biggest, the biggest demand that, that, as far as time, you know, but we don't have a whole lot of services. We, we ain't always here, you know, uh, we, 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 we ain't got no, uh, um, uh, no fundraisers. Amen. <laughs> we ain't got no fundraisers. Amen. That we call. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right. My wife told me to stop. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, we, we, we ain't selling no fish sandwich. 
Amen. Amen. We we ain't had no car wash. Amen. Amen. We we again. No bake sale. <laughs> we ain't doing all that stuff. Yes. Amen. Again, no fundraising revivals. <laughs> anyway, she told me to stop. So. <laughs> I was getting ready. I was getting. I, I could keep going, but I'm. I'm just saying. Huh? Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? But I don't. So I don't understand how people can be burnt out with this. But again, I know it happens. Again, but I tend to question how faithful are you? Are, are you really? A son of God. Are you really a because it's some other stuff. Washing clothes and doing that's burdensome to me, but this right here, I'll be <laughs> sweeping the floor and dusting and all that, clean the bathroom. Amen. It's time again. But this I'll be ready. You know? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because listen, because this yeah, I can see that the bathroom is cleaner, but it don't make me feel good in here. Yeah. It just yeah. smell clean. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But this right here, this this changes me, man. I I can feel this. I I can, I can experience this. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's like when I, after I get them shots in my knees, you know, about about a week later, I'd be like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, yeah. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head, Aaliyah? Yeah. <laughs> Cause usually my knees be hurt, but once I get them shot after about a week or two, I'll be like, okay, all right, <laughs> yeah. And so this, this, this is ministry. Being amongst the saints, hearing people yeah. pray and cry out to God, and the Word of God coming and penetrating and changing my life and convicting. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Y'all still with me? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, when we love God and keep his commandments, for this is the love of God. Once again, for this is the love of God that we do what? Keep his commandments. And so if we say we love God, then that means we're supposed to do what God tells us to do. Amen. Even if it goes against your personality. Amen. Amen. Even if it goes against. Yeah, uh, 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 well, the, the, the spiritual gift test says, I'm a pastor. <laughs> mm. No, I need you to go in there and wash them dishes. That's right. mm. Amen. I'm a pastor. <laughs> no, I need you to go in there and wash them dishes. Yeah, right. Go in there and serve. Amen. Amen. Go in there and ask somebody else what, what, what they need. Amen. Amen. Can you do that? Yes. Amen. Amen. He didn't come to be served. Amen. He came to serve. Amen. Can you do that? Amen. Now, if you can do that, you may you you may you may actually run into what he called you to do. Amen. But stop there. Amen. Are we hearing this today? Amen. 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 And so again, for this is what the love of God. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born. Everybody with me? Amen. Whatever is born of God. Overcomes the world. Yes. Again. If we are born of God. Mm -hmm. Now. I was born. From my mama and my dad. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, 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 that's what's in me. Right. But listen, do you also know that they was born of their mom and daddy? Yes. And so whatever's in them is in me. That's ancestry, right? Yes. On both sides, maternal and paternal. Right? Amen. And so sometimes you'll be like, you'll be looking at your, your, your grandchildren or you look at your children, you'll be like, Woo, I can show see my I, I can see my daddy. I can see my mama. Y'all, 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 y'all know how y'all be looking. And be Amen. like, you look like your grandma in that picture. You look like your great granddaddy in that picture. You look like. Amen. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Amen. Jesus overcame the world, and at some point we should be looking like our daddy. Yeah. Jesus, we should be looking like our daddy. Everybody understanding what I'm saying. Amen. Because he's the one that overcome the world. And I've been adopted in. If I'm his child. Amen. If, if I'm of him. If I'm born of God. Then I too. Will overcome, will overcome the world. Amen. 
cry me long. <laughs> Amen. Because I cry. Amen. I cry when somebody else be hurting. <laughs> Amen. And so, and so, and so I, I ain't stuck on what the world does. Amen. I don't let the world dictate. Why? I've overcome the world. Amen. The world says that, hey, uh, uh, women being with women is, is okay. <laughs> the world says that men being with men is okay. Uh -huh. Amen. I've overcome the word. That's a lie. That's not, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not, that's not what God loves. Amen. He loved the person, but he don't love that relationship. I promise you. Amen. He does not. Amen. Amen. Even animals know. Come on now. That ain't right. Yes, now they may they they they, they, they may they, they they may hump on each other dogs and just 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 to say to prove dominance, mm -hmm. you know, and they they'll do it. But mm -hmm. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to stay PG. Come on, man, you're right. They know. Amen. <laughs> Amen. This ain't right. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Amen. Well, what about me? I just feel, I just feel like it's okay, Apostle. You, you don't understand. <laughs> I understand that your feelings are real. I understand the way you feel. Is, this is true. Amen. Those, these are really your feelings. Mm -hmm. But it don't make it right. Jesus. Amen. I know, I, I, I believe you feel that way for real. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, because because maybe you really was born that way. Amen. I need you to be born again. Amen. Because when you're born of God, it changes. He said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. So be born again. Yeah. Be yeah. born of God. Yes. That way you can overcome the world and not act like the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. My Lord. My Lord. Amen. There are places you can go right now. The way we stand up and dress and act and do what we do is just like the world. You looking like Hey, my pastor looked like two chains. <laughs> they doing whatever they can to get along and, and, and just to be hip and, and, and all other kind of stuff. They don't say hip no more, do they? No. To be cool or, or to drip. <laughs> drip. They <were. laughs> my pastor looked like two chains. My path look like Quavo. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Hey, Amen. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. What you say, Eric? Amen. She, uh, she, she, hey, she said, does she wear, does she wear two chains? Amen. <laughs> 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 hey, Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. But anything. To look like the world or to act like the world. Well, I know God called us to be holy, but you got you got you got to kind of do some stuff to get people to draw people in. Whatever. No, if the word don't draw you, I am not going to be changing, trying to draw you now. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to act like the, I've overcome the world. Amen. Amen. He called us to be set apart. Yes. yes. Apart from the world, not to act like the world. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Hey man, listen, 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 listen. For whatever, whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. What is it? Our faith. Our faith. Yes. Hallelujah. The victory that has overcome the world is our faith. Yes. Amen. So what does it take to please God? Faith. faith. Glory be to God. Amen. It takes faith to please God. And so we got to have faith. And what do you mean we got to have faith? We got to know that he is that he is that he is. Yes. Glory be to God. Right. Amen. That's, that, that, that's real simple. That he is that he is that he is. 
Christ, that he is the son of the living God, that he is the Messiah, amen, yes. that he is the risen king. Yes. yes. King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. amen. We got to have faith. We got to have confidence in that thing, that he is. Yes. And so, and so when our children go off to college, they ain't not, not even confused. Because they know. Because I'm telling you, they're going to be faced with some stuff. They're, they're going to be faced with a worldview. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. They're going to they, they say, well, well, a worldview is like this. A worldview is like that. A worldview, a worldview. And so then they're going to try to have you, again, thinking how strange. They, 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 they say, well, we just try to introduce you to other cultural and, and, and uh, 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 multicultural and, and this is what they believe. This is, and so you know, it's it's okay that, that, that you merge these things in that you, the devil is a lie. Amen. Amen. America is a melting pot, but the faith. This ain't no. This is just. I'm in love with Jesus. Being in love with Jesus, this ain't no melting pot of all other kind of religions. Amen. This, this is Jesus is Lord. Yes. Amen. This ain't no melting pot. You don't get to put everything in this pot. Do you? you don't get to season this with what you want to season it with. You don't need. You, you don't get to put no slap your mama with the, in here. Amen. 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 Any of y'all you slap slap your mama? <laughs> Okay, it's a seasoning. So just just so y'all know, it's a seasoning called slap your mama. So what I'm saying is, you don't get to put that in the pot. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah! How about you, slap your mama? <laughs> slap your mama? No. What they got to do with anything? Amen. Amen. You don't get to put no extra seasoning in there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Y'all still with me? Amen. I'm just saying. Amen. And so, uh, uh, and this is the Victory. Anybody got victory? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the only way we're going to have victory is if we got faith in God. Yes. Why? Because the one that overcame the world is him. Yes. And so if he's the only one that overcame, amen, we got to follow in his trail. Amen. We got to come. He's the example. Amen. And because of him, we too overcome the world. Amen. Because I'm telling you, you can't do this in your own strength. Amen. He is my victory. He is my V I C T O R Y. He's my victory. Glory be to God. Amen. My victory is in Him. Amen. Why? Because my faith is in Him. Everybody understand? Amen. Amen. Once again, if this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith, our faith, our faith. Amen. And so, verse 5, when we get ready to wrap this up. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. You don't back up that. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, who overcomes the world? He who believes that Jesus is the Son they of God. They that believe. They that have Amen. faith that he is. Amen. Who overcomes? Amen. And so, again, what am I saying? There, 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 there are... Uh, listen. For most... For most men that were born or grew up with a man in the house, for many of them, the, the example of manhood was that father or that grandfather. Amen. That was their example to manhood. Amen. And so, so, so for those of us that didn't grow up as uh, uh, with a man in the house, Amen. It was either your older brother, <laughs> Amen, or probably your uncle. Yeah. Amen. Was 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 what your um uh, descriptive was for a man. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. And so, listen, I'm gonna read this one more time. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. And so there's a requirement for us yes. to be the example of the things that we talk about or the things that we say mm -hmm. is real. Yes. Okay. We tell our children. You need to be obedient, baby. 
you need to be obedient to your mama. A mama said, you need to be obedient to your daddy. You got to be obedient. You just... But then, when somebody tells us to do something, uh -uh. we say, I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> or I got a choice. <laughs> and then we look at it and be like, didn't I tell you? Right. <laughs> You're right. But the Holy Ghost inside of them looking at you like. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Shaking their head. And then you looking at them like. I will <laughs> knock you. <laughs> but. Don't we know that some of this stuff we deal with is spiritual? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if we hard-headed, if we glutton, if we this, if we that, and whatever, and we could be saying all this other stuff, but they looking at us. Mm. <laughs> you can't be slow for baby. You got be, you you got to want it. You got to get up and get it. But every time they see us, come on. <laughs> Got quiet in there. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. Stop talking about it and be about it. Yes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because because listen, we supposed to be the example. Yes. Amen. We're the one that's supposed to be born of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so if we if we listen, so if if. And again, it ain't always our children or grandchildren or whatever the case may be. It can be sisters and brothers in the faith. Amen. We can sit in here right now and you can say, well, God said this, and everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, but to, then when you get ready to see it in action, don't you know that applies to you too? Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Amen. And so if we believe that he is the son of God. Amen. Then that means we are born of God. And so if we are born of God. Who's our teacher? Amen. And so we born to him now. Again. We knew who was our teacher growing up. Amen. Whether they're uncle or your, or your dad or your granddad or whatever. whatever, whatever. But now that we're born of God. Who's your father? Amen. Who's your teacher? God is. Amen. And so if God is teaching me. How do I get to always say. I just don't feel like it. How come I always get to say. Well. That really ain't me. I, I didn't grow up like that. But you've been born again. Amen. Be willing to change. Be willing to do different. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really not a self-starter. You know. And so, if because I'm not a self-starter, I need people to tell me. You know that's an issue? Okay, that's an issue. Fix it. Do something different. Try starting yourself. That way nobody got to tell you. Especially if you're getting upset at people telling you. Yeah. Then start yourself. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Amen? And so, again, I know I got some stuff. Yeah. I know I got some stuff. And I'm telling you, I'm getting better. Yeah. I'm getting better because I desire to be better. And every time that word comes, man, it's like, Waka. Amen. Waka. Yeah. I'm getting better. Oh, Amen? And so I bless God for the word. Amen. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I bless God for the word. Yes. Because again, I don't have to stay who the, or, or, or remain who the world says I was or, or, or whoever I thought myself was. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But as long as God is, is, it remains, as long as I believe I have faith, that thing begin to bubble up inside of me. My life changes. I, I operate. I function differently. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't listen. You can get mad and, and listen. I told y'all when I first got saved, 
amen, any, any kind of cussing or drinking, that, that stuff used to make me mad. It used to offend me. Feel like somebody's scratching on my inside. I wish they would just stop. But now, next. Amen. I tell people in a heartbeat, hey, you need to cut somebody out, call me. You need, you need, you need to just scream and holler, whatever. Call me. You drunk? You need somebody to call me. I come, just, I come get you. I even, if I got to clean up the pew, I'm just telling you, I, I, I care that much. But I ain't always. <laughs> but that ain't always been who I am. Now, before. Calling me for how you even get my number? You need what? <laughs> you got me twisted. Why? I've been born again, man. I've been born again. This ain't it, 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 this ain't something I say I plan to do. I say, well, I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna do this. I'm do no. This thing it changed me. Amen. When I say I love you, I love you. And I'm going to be there for you. If it, Whatever I got to do, if, if I can do it, it's done. If I can't, I'll tell you, hey, I, I can't do that. I might be able to do that. I can't, I can't do that. Amen. But if you go to court, I ain't going to lie. Come on now. I'm just going to tell you, I ain't going to lie for you. That's right. Amen. I ain't going to lie for you. Amen. Some people say, well, I ain't going to lie, but I stress the truth. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> Amen. I'm just saying, I ain't going to lie for you. Mm -hmm. Lord be God. Amen. All right? And so, and if they tell me that, hey, you got to be at home at 11 o'clock and this o'clock, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you're at home by 11 o'clock. You're going to do it. And so, Amen. not 11.01, not 11.05, but God got it, the grace of God, baby. No, you need to be home at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Amen. Just like God got some regulations. Amen. We still got to obey the law of the land. Amen. 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 That's, uh, that's right. According to the scriptures. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I ain't talking about some of that stuff that ain't right. According Amen. to the scriptures. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. Y'all still with me? Yes. He who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. And so we have to believe that he is the Son of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we bless God again today for your hearing. We thank y'all for, for, for listening. I'm prayerful that in this, I'm just saying uh, that you received something. Amen. I, I really feel like it was a, a continuation um, or a spring off of, 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 of circuit training. Amen. But uh, we bless God again for your hearing. Amen. Uh, Lady J, in the day. Get that thing. Hallelujah. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>